It's been over a year since the first case of COVID-19 was detected in Minnesota. And since then, life has changed and the virus has evolved. Even though we know more about this virus now than we did last March, and many have already received their vaccination, there's still a lot of information to track. So each week, we'll be asking experts about recent COVID-19 developments. How many people need to get vaccinated for the state to reach herd immunity? I've kind of used a, a broad range in my mind. Anywhere between 70 and 90 is really good. As these new variants spread, if we could get to 80%, I really think we would cut down on that, especially knowing how these new variants are more contagious. Once you get vaccinated, can you still transmit COVID to other people? How likely are you to get it afterwards? That could be called those breakthrough infections. And we've seen a few hundred people. It's not zero, but at least what we've tracked here internally and what I've seen at the statewide data is probably 0.05%. So maybe a few hundred people have had COVID even after they've been fully vaccinated. And of those, we haven't seen that spread to all of their family members, all of their communities, everything else. We haven't seen large outbreaks in those fully vaccinated populations. What will summer activities look like? If we can stay at this plateau, stay at this level for another four to six weeks, that's where we're getting closer to summertime. And that's when I think we can really see the surge behind us, start to win that race of the vaccine and the variants. And, and I think that's the timing. Which kind of leads me maybe to thinking about, so what's happening in six weeks from now? Well, a lot of graduations, end of high school season, more summer trips, more travel, spending time with others. So if we can take the time now to do our masking and our behaviors and encourage as many people as possible to get vaccinated, that's what will really help set the stage for a safe, you know, summer season, you know, six weeks from now. When will younger kids be able to get the vaccine? You know, Pfizer has done their submission for uh, adding their uh, authorization to get down to the age of 12. This is where the, the adolescent, the, that child immune system and immune response looks like it's even geared up better, you know, to respond to this vaccine. So we are looking forward to a decision coming and starting to vaccinate, you know, 12 and above. And I think that'll also help us get down towards a safe summer, summer camps, you know, summer activities, summer sports, and really should help us then make school even safer next fall. 